Yeah. Hey, I'm back with the original Holy Trinity today. Or, you know, I just made a video. Um, or not video. I keep saying video, I'm sorry. Uh, recording of about, you know, uh, sex and, uh, how sex is not supposed to just be for fun as a games. And where the term. Kundalini. Kundalini came from, which and what it is. Um, Kundalini is the vital force lying dormant within one until activated by the practice of yoga, which leads one toward spiritual power and eventually salvation. Hinduism. Uh, it's a noun, and it's from Hinduism. So um, I'm getting ready to uh, let you guys hear about the original holy trinity and maybe it will show you guys something that you guys have been missing and i'm gonna put another video up more about uh you know the whole the original holy trinity and uh sorry that one word i forgot how to pronounce it kondalini yeah kondalini so uh Enjoy this recording. Um, this has been the message that you're getting ready to hear has been presented by Black Nine Films. Has religion evolved? What came first, the chicken or the egg? Judaism, Christianity, or Islam? Did they evolve from other spiritual teachings? I think so. Hear the religion stories of the ancient Africa. Then decide for yourself. Alright, y'all? Three of the most important mentioning in Kemet were Asar, Aset, and Heru. Well, to give them the more usual names, Osiris, Isis, and Horus. These three deities originally came from Kush. These are very, very important. The stories are as much mythology as they are history. Now, according to Diodorus Siculus, who was one of the ancient Greek um, historians, Osiris was originally a community leader of very early Kush. He doesn't call him a king of Kush, but he makes it quite clear he was a leader. Asar is regarded as the founding father of Kemet. He unified the two lands. He established the first nation state in the recorded history of humanity. He is said to have introduced writing, the writing which the ancient Kemites referred to as Medu Neter, or the, the writing of God when it was written, or the words of God when it was spoken. He is also said to have introduced agriculture and theology. Also, decided to take civilization. So, certain parts of the Nile Valley, as well as the other parts of the world. I saw a married, beautiful Nubian woman by the name of Aset, who was his co-regent, uh, not his inferior, his co-regent. And when Asar decided that he was going to travel to other parts of Africa to share his technology with his brothers and sisters on the continent, he left his wife Aset to run their nation. And he was very successful, very admired, and this provoked the jealousy of his brother, Set. And Set then plotted to overthrow his brother, Asar. Set, or, or uh, Sete, in the ancient Egyptian, murdered his brother, dismembered his body into 14 pieces, and then scattered those 14 pieces throughout Kemet. When the Set learned of the parts of her husband's body. Set found 13 of the 14 parts of Asar's body, and as she found his body parts, she cleaned it, she anointed it with oils, and she laid all 13 parts out, and she literally remembered her husband, wrapped his entire body in bandages, and created the first mummy in the recorded history of humanity. As the set was preparing to bury her husband, because she was about to bury the man that she loved. She grieved because she was still a virgin. They had never consummated their marriage. 
and thus she would never bear children by the man that she loved. And according to the story written on many papyri and Kemet, carved on several temples in Kemet, the spirit of Asar came and impregnated his virgin wife, Aset. And then, nine months later, the virgin Aset gave birth to their son, Heru. Now, in the case of Isis, or, or Set, she is the original virgin mother, and she is seen suckling Horus. He is shown as uh, a child suckling his mother, and he's wearing a pharaonic headdress, making it clear that he was born a king. Haru uh, is the son of Osiris, and he is the embodiment of order. He has to take over the kingship, and he has to do that through a struggle. So Heru is born, son of a virgin. She was born with a specific purpose in life. That was to restore his father's kingdom, to do battle with uh, his uncle Set and claim his father's throne. Heru would then take up his father's um, struggle, in a way, against his uncle Set. One of classic battles, not so much between good and evil, it's more a battle between order and anarchy. And Heru eventually triumphs over Set. At that moment, Heru was transformed, a rapid speed, transformed into a falcon. He flew into heaven to meet with his father, Sar, told the Sar of his victory over Set. His father blessed him, and Heru then returned to Kemet as the legitimate heir to the throne. And when he ascended to the throne, the symbol of the Heru Vedet, the winged Sundus, uh, was a symbol that was carved above the entrance of every temple in Kemet to serve as a reminder of Heru fulfilling the reasons for which he was born. And at the moment, Heru reclaimed his father's throne and was crowned the king of Kemet. His father, Asar, was resurrected from the dead and took his place on the throne of Jephthah. So that was the recording of the original Holy Trinity. Now, where do you guys think the story of Jesus Christ came from? Them. Where do you think the story of Cain and Abel came from? Them. See, when he was talking about the writing, the um, Nebatar, which means writing of God, that was trying Christians are trying to say that that's how Jesus Christ was born but they took a lot of the story out if you have not noticed like Cain and Abel how Cain killed his brother well a set I mean I'm excuse me I'm sorry Asar and his brother Sita they took their stories and put them to Cain and Abel. And then with the Virgin Mary, how Joseph did not impregnate Mary, he was uh he was dead. But see in the Bible it never said Joseph died. It just said well I'm not gonna say that because to be honest I've never read that in the Bible. But what I'm saying is this that the Virgin Mary came from a Nubian queen in Africa. That's who Mary is supposed to represent. And every person, Mary and Joseph and Cain and Abel, they took them stories from Africans' legacy and our heritage. Are not taught that actually happened. You know, it's just crazy how shit, how they try to take one religion and switch it and then they put it in our religion now this is over in Africa and so if you was reading the recording fence the the, uh, the recording about the rabbit proof fence and how they came over to how Western Europeans came over to Australia where the Aboriginals lived and colonized them by putting schools and Christianity churches in their community and made them stay 
in like a little zone where they had to go to school and go to church and learn what the Western Europe wanted them to learn. That's the same thing they did. That's the same thing they're doing now. That's the same thing they did back in Africa and the same thing they're doing all over the world. They're taking heritage and other people's culture and, and they put it with the Christianity. And once the Western Europeans figured out, oh, we can't let them have this knowledge. We can't let them have this. We got to put a white Jesus in front of them so they'll think that we're related to them. So that's our, you see that white man? That's our cousin. So you got to respect us at all times. Now, let me say something, okay? My mother is white. My sister was white. And my brother, Cameron, and Adam, and Christy, they, those are my brothers and sisters. And my mom, Leslie, here. They're white. I'm not saying I hate white people. I'm not saying that at all. I got a lot of white friends. I'm not saying that at all. I'm not blaming you guys for this because y'all didn't know. You know, y'all was just being taught what they wanted us to know just as well as, you know. But do your own research to my Caucasians. Do your own research. If you don't believe me, do your own research. So that was... You know, that was just a little thing I just wanted y'all to know about, you know. And Egypt's real name is Kemet, by the way. Uh, yeah. So, like, I, again, subscribe, like, comment, do whatever y'all want to do. Show me some love. If y'all want to hate, y'all can comment on the hate. Just tell me, shut the fuck up. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. When I do know what I'm talking about, because I've done my research, you know. I refuse to I refuse to be taken advantage of. I refuse to keep letting people give me what they want me to know and what they want me to learn. My school my son's gonna be homeschooled because I'm sick of this shit. They they fucking up everything, okay? It's just bad, okay? So anyway, that was, you know, the original Holy Trinity story. And this has been Ashley Franklin on the Spreaker. And I'm out. Hit me up. I might be on a little later. Can't make no promises. I, I do work, you know, so if I can't make a recording every day, you know, I'm trying to make two that day or, you know, just try to, you know, just let y'all, you know, just experience some stuff. You know, if y'all listen to me, y'all think I'm, you know, somebody y'all can tune into, that's cool. It's not always about, um, you know, music and shaking ass and make that ass clap and twerking and drinking and having drugs all floating around and partying like you ain't got no common sense. Sometimes you need the education to open your eyes and see. You know, I'm 22 years old and maybe someone around my age is listening to me and people trying to tell them what I'm trying to tell them and they're not listening. But sometimes it takes someone that you don't even know to open your eyes to something that's been in front of you the whole time so you can see it. You know, they say seeing is believing. Well, that's true because I can't see my future, but I believe I have a future. You know, um, it's just little things that you, people should be aware of, you know. And my next, um, my next speaker, my next recording, I think I'm going to do law. I think. My next one would be something about the law. Because yesterday, while I couldn't make a video, I had got pulled over twice. Me and my nigga got pulled over twice by fucking police. And the first time we got pulled over, white and black cop, black cop, just very disrespectful. Just like no kind of consideration whatsoever. White cop, I couldn't stand him. He was terrible. Threat, first of all, we we not even doing nothing. We was just sitting in the car minding our own business. Like I said, that, that's going to be my next recording. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. I got to see how I'm uh, playing this out. Uh, But, you know, uh, y'all take care. I'll probably be on a little later, like I said. Throw some music on, just bullshit, talk some shit, you know. But this has been Lil' Ace broadcasting live, you know. Hit your dick, holla at